looking at me i'm looking back hi you all how are you welcome back to our channel hope you have been a wonderful day so far we've done many diy videos in the past showing how to spruce up your t-shirts how to tie dye them how to bleach dye them but today we're showing you in our halloween version <laughs> And don't forget to like and subscribe this video if you want to see more. So we have bought all the supplies from either Joann's or um, Hobby Lobby. And uh, they're very easy to find. Most of the supplies might be already be in your house. So feel free to use those. And do uh, feel free to play around with the design. We've just given you four examples of what we can do. So uh, I, I hope you like what you see and are inspired to make Halloween theme uh, uh, clothes this year. I know Halloween is not the best time right now because of all that scare about COVID and people not wanting to dress up uh, and go out for candies. But at the same time, uh, you can enjoy within your family, uh, have some a nice meal, have wear some Halloween themed clothes and have fun, right? And you can even do this as an activity on Halloween. You know, decorate your shirt, yeah. do a fun family activity, and please do let us know if you try any of these. And if you are going to go check or treat, make sure you wear your mask and social distance. Keep safe, everybody. And so without further ado, let's get on to the video. So what I have here is a Gildan uh, t-shirt. We bought it from uh, Joann's. You can get that at Hobby Lobby as well. And what I'm trying to do is I'm going to use these sleeves which were from another project the, that's why i'm making them a franken sleeve so i'll be sticking them in here and they will be they'll become sleeves for this shirt uh what i've also decided is because of the length of the t-shirt which is really long i'm going to crop it here and attach some lace which we have left over from our previous project and andrea is going to write 2020 on here for me because well she's very good at painting and stuff and i'm not so let's let's get on with it so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to cut the t-shirt so I, i'm going to put it here in front of me and see where exactly i need to cut it i would say here because that's where my jeans hit me so this is where i'm going to uh, cut it so i'm just putting it straight uh, on the uh, counter and yes we are filming in our kitchen because it has the best light uh, and I'm going to use these uh, uh, fabric cutters, rotary and cutter. a rotary cutter, and I'm just going to slide this across and cut the t-shirt. So just make sure that you have, you're doing this, once you do it, it's done. You cannot go back. So this thing is really, really sharp. So just be careful. So I have this cut. It may not look very straight, which is fine because it's going to get lace. Uh, at the bottom I'm just going to uh, sharpen the edges a little bit uh, with the uh, fabric scissors just going to make sure that everything is at least a little bit straight but it doesn't I mean it doesn't matter that much um, I'm just trying to make it as even as possible and that's that's all it needs so now I'm going to turn this t-shirt upside inside out and I'll start with my first bit which is putting the lace at the bottom. Now I am, I am not, I don't want to sew and stuff like that. Uh, I know how to sew, but do I want to? No. So I'm going to just take this t-shirt and I am just going to attach the lace at the bottom. So first of all, to attach the lace, a good idea would be to pin it in place. And that's what I'm doing right now. And I will just Pin the whole thing and I'll be right back. So I'm done uh, pinning it uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin the sleeves as well. Now of course these sleeves are wider than what my sleeves are so what we're going to do is and I, I, Ria's idea was amazing but just bring it down to the level where the sleeve matches and it become like a half like a, 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 a elbow length sleeve and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to mark where my sleeve is going to be which is here and i'm going to cut off the rest so i'm going to um just see and i have to leave space for it to uh um, to stick it so i'm just cutting it across so 
So we have a piece left over which we can use for some other project. And this will get stuck here. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for here. But I'm going to measure it with this because you want the sleeves to be equal. You don't want them to be in equal sleeves, which will be not nice. So I'm going to just cut this. Uh, just place it fl as flat as you can. Place the other sleeve on top of that. Make sure, take your time to make sure that it is flat uh, before you start cutting because once it's cut, it's done. Uh, which means that you cannot increase the length. You can decrease it, but you cannot increase the length. So my sleeves are kind of matching and I am going to now cut the sleeves. And I am using fabric scissors because they're sharper. So now I have two pieces of sleeves. And what I'm going to do is to make sure that I stick it well. I am going to insert this sleeve in there. And then I'm going to pin it. So once all the pinning is done, so you just take it to the side and you start pinning. Pin the side first because you want the sides to match. Um, and do the same thing all over on both the sleeves. And I will do that uh, right of camera and back. So I've got everything pinned up. Uh, the sleeves, the lace is all pinned up. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to unpin it a little bit. Drop some glue on the t-shirt. and just stick it. Make sure you are stretching the t-shirt as you are pinning it, or sorry, as you are gluing it. And you have time because it takes time for the glue to dry. So I'm gonna finish this off camera and I'll just be back. Okay, so my t-shirt, uh, the sleeves are stuck. Uh, they're not completely dry. Uh, uh, like you've told me before, it takes 24 hours for it to dry. The lace is on, it's not completely dry. It's gonna take 24 hours to dry, but meanwhile, we can still work on it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna write 2020 on it, because 2020 has been a scary year. It's been a bullish year. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna do for my part, I'm gonna use some kind of font, not exactly. It's gonna be bubble letters, but it's going to be melting, kind of. So. And she's using paint markers. A paint pen. It's, uh, this one is, we got this one from Hobby Lobby. It's the Hobby Lobby brand as well. Um, these, you have to press them a few times to start the ink like that. And then they're ready to use. And she's better at writing and calligraphy than I am. So Rhea is going to do this. So go ahead, Rhea. Yes. So first, you're going to start off by just starting off your design and spacing it. Do you want me to hold it down? Like, no, I think I should be good. So I first, can stretch it out. I'm just this. gonna, see, I wanna first yeah. kind of mark the area that you want it to be, then kind of mark your letters, and make, you know, a little crease. Two, zero, two, zero. So that's where my 2020 is gonna be. So let's start. You start by, just take the paint pen, and to do these letters, you just need to start off by just writing your um your numbers okay so first we're just going to start with the zeros because they're fairly easy finish any unmade lines and draw a small little circle in the middle so then it looks like bubble letters Do that on both sides and you do want to stretch the fabric a little bit to do this uh, yes. we should have used a canvas stretcher or something but you know us, we're not going to do that. We're just going to... And then for the bubble twos, you put a line down on both sides. Drag it up and follow the curve down. Drag it up and follow the curve down. And then just finish it off by marking off the line together. Like that. Now for the melting part. This part's my favorite. And don't forget to delate your pen every now and then. 
So you're gonna start in this part, you can kind of freestyle. You go downs and ups and downs and ups, and then you just connect the top like that. Mm -hmm. Do it on all the sides. Like that. Now you guys see, there's that line. So for this, we're just gonna fill in just the drifts. And it's really easy, you just scratch it in. What I like about paint pens is that they don't leave streaks. Mm -hmm. So it looks very nice and complete. So you're just gonna do that to all of them. And this so this part, is an easy peasy project, okay? And this part you can totally customize. You don't have to write 2020. That's just what we wrote, but you guys could write Because we thought 2020 was a scary year with, you know, COVID and everything. all the hell going on. You guys on. could write boo or something and just do the drips, which I think would look so good. Mm -hmm. And then you could just finish off some of the letters where you see fit. You could even color in the whole letter if that floats your boat. But we just like the drips just as is. So uh, uh, I have to let this dry. And once it dries, uh, we will model it and show it to you. Okay, guys, now we're going to do mine. So for mine, I picked out this pumpkin scarf. And this was $7 at Joann's. Then I just roughly drew up some sketches of pumpkin. And of course, you can just print out one. So first, I'm going to start by cutting these out. The thing I liked about this design particularly is that you could design your own pumpkins. And this one is one of the mo most customizable ones. Because then you can pick exactly what shape, what size, how you want your pumpkins, where you want your pumpkins. So that's why I did this one. Um, the scarf is really cute and I thought it'd be very ironic because it is a pumpkin scarf if I put pumpkins all over it. So I'm just gonna cut out the big one for now and I can cut out the little ones later. I'm giving myself just a little bit of allowance as you guys can see. And I'm just gonna put this off to the side. Okay, so now we're gonna take our fabric and make sure you make the side, the bad side facing up. And take your template and just place it there. And you could trace it, but I would suggest not to because with this fabric, I really can't because the fabric is so sheer. So I'm just gonna line it up right there. And I'm actually gonna use some of these pins. Yes, I know it's paper, but pins still work on paper. So you can just easily slide a pin through this. And it may not be the most bendable, but you know, just three pins, you know, on all the corners. Well, it's a circle, it doesn't have corners. But all around it, just to hold the template down. Make sure it goes through the fabric as well. And then just one more through the stem. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. And I'm just gonna close this and put it off to the side. And then I'm just gonna take my fabric scissors. That's important, guys. And leave an inch allowance around your thing that you cut out. So in case you do make any mistakes or there is any shrinkage, there's nothing to worry about. And you can rotate the fabric as you cut, like I am doing right here. Just like that, leaving that allowance. I call it the oops allowance. <laughs> if anything does go oops, you have that allowance right there. And cut it all the way around. See with fabric scissors, it just cuts out like butter. Or like pumpkin butter. Okay, so then I'm just gonna take all my pins out and place those three pins off to the side. And see, you have your perfect pumpkin. And I'm just gonna go and trim around the edges where I first started. So I'm already playing with how that started out. But look at that cute little pumpkin you just cut out. Isn't it precious? Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna just take my big pumpkin right side facing up this time. Now I'm gonna see where I'm gonna place it. I think I'm gonna place it right there. I think that looks so cute. And again, 
Um, I'm gonna make sure I only have one layer of the shirt selected, but I'm just gonna pin down our pumpkin. Okay, one pin. And I always just use very less pins because if it's a small design like this one is, then you don't need a lot of pins. Just hold them down to the black. And I always make sure to get one on the main point. So for this one, it's the stem and then the two bottom sides. Okay. And she's all done. Now I'm going to cut out some of the smaller pumpkins in the same way. Okay, I am back with all my little pumpkins and it is time to stick this on. So I'm just going to start off by putting a little bit of glue on here. And I've just got this like little chopstick thingy to just spread her out nice and even. You don't want there to be too much glue in one area. You want there to be nice, even glue. So I'm just going to stick my chopstick in there and I'm going to flip it so again, our nice side is on the top and then I'm just gonna stick her on there she looks great they look amazing so I've arranged it to look like kind of a pumpkin patch going on so again I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue I just finished gluing all these and I'm just gonna let it go off and sit on the side till it dries. Today I'm, um, I'm just gonna be doing something a little bit more basic. Again, I'm gonna be using bleach. If you are a little kid or small kid, uh, don't use bleach without uh, adult supervision or don't use bleach at all. Just let an adult do it. Um, explanation of my idea, I'm gonna be using this. This was initially a cookie cutter, but I'm gonna be using it just to put as a little reference it's just going to go in the middle i'm going to put bleach right underneath it so i'll go through that little pumpkin shape in uh if you can see that i've got this little ribbon with cats and little cat buns paw prints it's very cute i love this very much and we're just going to put this on the sides on the seams on on the sides it's going to be really cute i'm really excited for this one and right underneath the pumpkin uh right here i can hold up the t-shirt up for y'all um the pumpkin's going to go around here, and right underneath is going to be the word spooky or spoopy. We haven't really decided on exactly which word, so we're going to write that as bleach too. Because we don't want to use fabric pen, so it still really pops out. Starting, uh, starting off, we're going to go with the bleach. I've already put one plastic bag in here, but since we're going to do a little bit lower to the bottom, we're using another one. Put this just in and you want to make sure it's covering the entire area that you are bleaching because otherwise it will go through we've already explained how bleach works in one of our other videos it'll be linked in the card right now if you want to go watch that we did a lot of cool designs in that one so you can go look at that from other bleach ideas or designs i just putting it spread out you want the plastic bag just all over the area you're bleaching and I'm just going to be using this paintbrush over here I have. I'm going to, I'm just going to leave the whole, I'm going to leave the heart not bleached on here. And if you are going to use this, make sure you're holding down the bit. Very, because I'm holding it down because otherwise it'll move, obviously. So I'm just putting a little bit of a thin layer first. I don't want to put too much. Holding down a little bit. And you don't want it to drip either because I will start to bleed on that part of the shirt too this might take a while so we're just gonna i'm gonna finish this off camera so i'll be right back with you okay i just finished bleaching the pumpkin like i was saying i'm just bleaching it just around the heart i want the heart to pop out and i put a pretty good layer of bleach on there um i'm just touching up a little bit so it's a little bit thicker because i like to be a very bright vibrant orange i did make a few oopsies but that's fine it doesn't i it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter but I'm just gonna, since I have the bleach still out, I'm just gonna write spooky or spooky. You'll have to see in a second. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of bleach. Don't want too much bleach on this. Uh, and I'm gonna be writing spooky. I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess up and keep talking, so I'm just gonna do this off camera. So give me a quick second. 
I've gotten, I've written spooky down. I've got the, I've got uh, the pumpkin all bleached. Everything's done for here for now. You'll be able to see in a second, but I'm gonna put this aside so the bleach can sink in for a bit. So here we've done it a little bit more different than we expected it to. Um, one half of it we just cut off and add a little bit of orange because we thought that would be a little more unique. As you can see, the spooky's all there. We did we did more of an outline thing with two different bleaches. So if you want to do that, I would say use one bleach and then outline it because it does give it a little more of a different effect. Um. But now we have this. I'm just going to put this on now because as the glue on this is still kind of drying, I might as well add this on. Um, I have fabric scissors here. And what I'm going to do is, as you see, we put a lot of them on our sleeves to give them more flare. I'm actually not going to do it that way. I'm going to make it so it's facing that way. Like that. And I'm going to do it all the way around the back as well. So let me measure this real fast. And we can measure the same uh, tape that we cut uh, and cut a similar length for the uh, other sleeve. And I'm just going to take a tad bit of glue. I'm going to... I'm going to start off with this cat right here where my finger is. Put a little bit of glue down on the... on the shirt. Just a, you want to put a little bit of a time so you can actually get the correct proportions of it. And you have time till the glue dries, so take your time and, and adjust it right. I'm just gonna finish this up and I'll show you the end of results once we model these and everything's dry. Okay, so it is my turn and I'm just gonna show you guys a rough layout of my design. So I'm gonna be using these little spider buttons that we found at Joann's and I'm just gonna be using the colored ones, orange, um, green, and purple, uh, because black doesn't show because this is a black t-shirt, duh. And I'm also gonna be using these like fall themed patches and I'm gonna be placing the patches at the bottom. So let's just do leaf. We're gonna do leaf, animal, um, another leaf, animal, whatever, acorn, and yeah, that's like the bottom of the side. And then we're going to be using these two pumpkin patches on the sides, or like on the little bitty arms. So yeah. And we're going to be using the spider uh, crawling up the middle of like the neckline. And these are going to basically be like its babies. So we're going to be placing the little spiders on uh, like this in like a pattern like this. Orange, purple, green, and then the same thing on the other side. Orange, purple, green. So they're kind of like facing each other. And yeah, and that's gonna be my design. So first we're gonna start with the patches on the bottom, cause that's gonna be the easiest thing. And yeah, I'm gonna just remove everything. Okay, I'm gonna have to take off my jacket. And basically, we're going to just glue the patches onto the bottom. So, yeah. Um, um, so, we're going to start with this leaf one. And I'm going to try to space them out evenly. So, I'm just going to guess. And they're all going to be, like, right at the bottom. Uh, at the bottom of the t-shirt. I also got an acorn and a squirrel. Or, yeah, that's really cute. So, I thought, like, I'd be facing them next to each other, so yeah, I thought that was cute. And again, you can get Halloween themed patches like spiders and such, but I found these fall ones, and technically Halloween isn't fall. So, yeah. And now that I've glued these down, you might want to put like a heavy book or such um, on it so that they can dry evenly and nice. Um, I actually have to do more, so I'm not going to do that yet. And we're going to start by putting the pumpkin patches right there. We're going to glue these little pumpkin patches on to the sides. Yep, we're going to do it. I'm going to try to place them as symmetrical as I can. So I got it as symmetrical as I can. And we're going to just let that dry. You may need a little bit more glue as I only just put a dot. Just a lot, not a lot. Now I'm going to actually glue the spider onto like the top of the shirt. 
But the one problem we have is this actually has, like, this is supposed to be a clip. A clip. It's actually pretty cute, but I want to use it as a shirt piece or decoration. A patch, as you will. And I'm going to rip this off. All right, your girl is back, and Isha helps me. And I'm just going to be gluing it right on, like, the bottom of the neck. We're going to try to make that centered. And before I make it centered, I'm going to place it out as kind of a stencil thing. And I think that is good. So we're just going to glue. There's actually, like, felt on the bottom. So we're going to use that kind of, like, as a template of where we should put our glue. And that's basically just going to stick it. There we go, see? And I'm gonna say this again, I've said this three times now. Uh, you should put books on it so it dries fast and evenly. But I'm actually gluing more, so that is why I'm not putting books on it yet. Um, and now we're gonna use little Spidey Babies. And um, I'm gonna do it orange, purple, green. You can do it however you want. You can even use charms that you can find at your land as we almost the stuff at Joanne's. Uh, you, can, you can honestly use anything. I am using spiders, mainly because I don't like spiders, and spiders are spooky. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna quit rambling, and I'm just gonna start sticking them on. There we go. And these are actually buttons, so you can probably find this literally anywhere, which is super cool. While I'm gluing, how's y'all's day then? I hope it's been good. Especially since it's like Halloween, October season, kind of like fall. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna glue on the last one. And, yay, I am done with my shirt. Thank you so much for spending time with us and watching our video. We appreciate each one of you. We hope you liked this video and let us know which one was your favorite t-shirt design. And if you try them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification button. Only one for mommy, okay? <laughs>